In this video, I want to teach you how to set up a professional domain name. Um, so to back up a little bit, uh, when you signed up for Shopify, it should have asked you for a name for your business. Whatever that name would name is, it should go right here. So if I were to go to your store right now without a professional domain name, I would have to type in your name dot my Shopify dot com to get to your store's website and that does not look professional no person would ever use that domain name because it, it doesn't build credibility with your customers and if your customer feels uneasy or not safe when they go to your website of course they're not going to buy from your website so to make customers feel more comfortable and show that your website has credibility you want to convert your website to a professional name so instead of your name dot my dot com or whatever this is XYZ XYZ you want to change it to XYZ dot com or whatever name you want to choose so for example if my store right now is Kevin Princeton dot my dot com I may want to go do Kevin Princeton dot com instead alright and then add and make this the URL that links back to my store so that when customers when I share this this URL with customers and they visit it they will know that my store has a professional domain name, it's a legitimate business, and it just makes them feel more easy. Uh, tips. Always attach a domain to your Shopify store. It is very, very important. It increases the likelihood of a customer purchasing from your store. Um, another tip. Think of, when you're thinking of a domain name, shorter is always better. Make sure it's catchy, make sure it's memorable, make sure it applies to your store in some way. Um, it doesn't have to be super literal, but if you're selling, um, I don't know, iPhone cases, uh, you may want to use the word phone or cases in your URL. That, that part is actually not mandatory, but it, it does help with brandability. If you're doing, let's say you're starting a fashion brand, like a t-shirt brand, then of course you don't actually have to use the word t-shirts in your domain name. But Shorter and catchy names are very important. So I really want you to sit down and think of a name for your store or for your brand, depending on what you're selling, um, that really encompasses encompasses your brand and tells us tells your story. This is very, 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 very important. So do not rush. Uh, do not rush this process, right? Really sit down, go through a hundred different names and choose a name that you really, really like. Get, ask your friends what they think of this name. Is it a good name? Is it a bad name? Is it too long? Is it too short? Things like that, all right? Um, consider the availability of your domain name on Instagram if you intend on using Instagram in the future for marketing. So let's say my, my website, uh, I want to call it XYZ T-shirts because I want to sell t-shirts. Well, I want to check if the word XYZ t-shirts is available on, on Instagram so later on I can create an Instagram account that also sell that that I can use the username XYZ t-shirts, right? It's just, you know, something to consider when you're choosing a name. You don't have to consider this if you don't intend on using any Instagram marketing. I don't really go over Instagram marketing very much in this course. But I usually like to choose usernames that are also available on Instagram. Who knows? Maybe one day you're super, um, you you're, you have a super super successful brand or website, and you want to use Instagram to build your brand. Well, get, well, you should have considered if that username was free or not. I would also avoid hyphens or dashes or dot nets. I always stick to dot com. At least here in the United States, dot com is the way to go. So let's go. Where would you go to? search for a username go to, I recommend godaddy.com g o d a d d y right g o d a d d y.com um, this is one of the industry standards for purchasing a domain name they have one of the largest uh, uh, banks of names out there okay so um, let's assume I'm trying to find kevinprinson.com um, or I mean I don't have to type in Kevin Princeton. I could just type in Kevin.com. I could just type in Kevin Princeton by itself. So you can see KevinPrinson.com is taken. The reason it's taken is because I own that user, that URL. I own that domain name. It may recommend other domain names like .co, .live, uh, .global, .net. I would not recommend any of these 
Um, I think in the UK, they use .co.uk. I'm not sure, but I would recommend simpler is better. No hyphens. You see a hyphen right here? Avoid those. You want to get the perfect one, kevinprinceton.com. This is what you would want, just your name, .com. Shorter and simpler is always better. If it was available, it would say that um, it's, it's available. Right now it says it's taken, but if your domain name was available, it should say it's available, and then you, there would be a purchase button right here. Generally, domain names are really, really cheap, meaning you can buy a domain name for a whole year for you know something as small as $15. Um, so it's not that big of an expense, so don't worry. Um, and it's a pretty cool process. You know, if you've never created a website before, adding a domain name really individualizes that website to you. I would also recommend going to thesaurus.com. Uh, if you go here, you can really think of a lot of cool names. So maybe you sell um, fashion. I would type in the word fashion and see what kind of synonyms pop up for fashion. Um, okay, maybe that's not a great word, but let's say you sell outdoor gear, um, like camping gear. I would do outdoors and search that and see what kind of synonyms. It helps you think of really cool names. So outdoors could be environment, you know, country gear, countryside, something about mountains like mountaingear.com. Um, it really depends. Something about wood or plants. It just helps you think of names. So once you figure out your name and you purchased it on godaddy.com, uh, what you're going to do next is after you've purchased it and you've owned it, you're going to go to online store right here. Then you're going to click domains at the bottom. And it should bring you to a page that looks like this. Sorry, my internet is slow again. It should bring you to a page that looks like this. So right now, my website is kevinprincetonx.myshopify.com. This is just, this is not a real store. This is my um, example store that I created for you guys. Um, and then if you have a domain name that you bought on GoDaddy, you're going to click connect existing domain, meaning existing meaning you already purchased it. And then you're going to type it in right here, www.kevinprinceton.com, right? And depending on where you purchase your domain name, your Shopify should pick up on where you purchased it. And then you're going to click next. And then what you're going to do, see, it was able to uh, recognize that I, I purchased my domain from GoDaddy. And then you could connect it by clicking connect automatically, right? And then you would just click this button and go through that process. And then moving forward, your new website and Shopify store would have this as its main URL. So if anyone type your domain name into their URL search bar, it would bring them to your website. All right, isn't that cool? It's very, very simple. So, you know, the shop, this course is all about simplifying things that may seem more uh, complicated. So setting up a domain name is really, really easy. There's no coding involved. There's no backend work involved. You don't need a developer. You can do it all yourself and Shopify as a platform makes it really easy. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you guys on the next video.